Hey Kinder, I'm going to keep this quick, but I just wanted to show how you could use skills in order to track an SLO throughout the year. So um, <clears throat> when you go to an activity, um, maybe even just to assign an activity, say you're just focusing on writing or something like that. Okay, well when I go to assign, I can go to edit students, folders, and skills. When you click on skills, you'll notice now, granted I'm signed in as a fourth grade class, um, so I probably need to choose a kinder class, but you'll notice if you search by the skill code, so like um, 4.11, um, so you want to search by code instead of word, like don't put in like author, um, but search by the code, then you can easily populate all the 4.11 to get more um, precise, and I'm not sure how kinder are coded, um, you probably know that a little bit better, but LA.4.11, it's going to pull up what I need say if this is the one that I want, I click on OK, and then assign to one class. So then I can view the activity. Okay, you'll see one skill is attached. You could even attach the skill after assigning the activity if you need to, um, just by going to edit activity and then edit skills. So as the students complete the task, which I'll do real quick, then I can go and actually track and mark the skill. So um, I like to view activity completion now through the progress tab. So I can click on progress. I can see who's completed an activity. And if I hover over a student, it will give me a full student report or an activity report. I can pop into this activity. And then notice I can rate the skill really quickly here. So say if they got it fully, I'd put four stars. And you could even change the number of stars in your um, settings if you prefer to not have four. I think um, people like to do it where it aligns with like the meets, um, approaching, um, <clears throat> but you can choose that there. So I'm going to approve that. Only the teacher um, will see the skills, not parents or students. So teachers or administrators can see the skills. But then when I click on skills view, it's just going to show the activities that have skills linked to them. So if you just chose one like skill you wanted to link, and maybe even it's just a beginning, middle, and end of year, you'll get green, yellow, red, kind of a heat map of how the kids are doing. So wanted to share this in case it's helpful as you track um, student progress in Seesaw.